Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a code tutorial, and this was suggested by one of you guys in the comments. So we're going to be making a responsive navigation that has a breakpoint so when we get to the mobile view it switches to a hamburger menu and we can open and close it. This is only using CSS, no JavaScript or jQuery. Let's get started. All right, so we're going to need two files for this one. So the first one is an index.html. And then the second one we're going to need is our main.css. You can name that one whatever you want. So in the index, we're going to code all the HTML elements that we need. And then later, we're going to code the CSS to make this site look good and function. So let's get started with the HTML first. So doc type HTML. And then I'm going to open and close the HTML tags. First thing we're going to do is add a head tag. Inside of this, I'm going to say title. And I'm just going to name mine tutorial. Below that, I'm going to set the link to the style sheet. So link rel style sheet. Then type text CSS and then link to it main.css. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is set the uh, character set. So meta character set utf8. And then now what we're going to do is set the viewport. So I'm going to use a meta tag to do this as well. And this is going to set the zoom and the scale of the website uh, when it loads up. So meta, name, view, port, and then content, and then width equals device dash width, and then comma, initial, dash scale equals 1.0. All right, so now we can open and close the body tag. Body, and close that. And now we can start with the navigation. So I'm going to say div class nav. So all of our navigation stuff is going to go in here. So the first thing that we're going to need is a label. And label for toggle. So the for is going to be pointing to the ID of toggle, which I'll explain a bit more in just a second. And for our hamburger menu, I'm going to say and pound nine seven seven six semicolon and that'll give us our hamburger menu so I'm gonna run this so you can see it pull this over a bit all right so there's our hamburger menu showing up on the screen nice so the next thing we need below the label is an input and I'm gonna say type checkbox and then we'll give this an ID of toggle Okay, so what that does is that works as a normal checkbox. So if I click that, it checks and unchecks. But since we use the for toggle and it's pointing to the ID of toggle, if I select the hamburger menu, it also toggles that. So now we can hide this toggle switch with CSS, but we can still use the functionality of it with the hamburger menu. All right, so next what we need to do is create the menu. So div class menu, and this is gonna have the list of uh, links that we're going to be having in the navigation. So in here, I'm going to have a href, put a pound symbol there, and then inside of that, let's do business. I'm going to do another one, a href pound symbol, and this one's going to be services. Then below that, we're going to do learn more learn more and then the last one I'm going to use a span tag to change the color of the text so span whoops span and then we're going to say free trial okay so that is all we need for this to work so now let's move into the main.css file all right so I'm going to split my screen horizontally and I'm going to drag this down so we can see both of these files so we're gonna have to apply two things to the HTML and body just for general spacing and text stuff. So I'm gonna say HTML and the body, and I'm gonna set the width of those to 100% and the height to 100%, and then remove the margin by setting it to zero. For the HTML, this is unnecessary, but I'm gonna set the font family to Helvetica. Just so we have something that looks a little better. And now we can start styling our nav. So dot nav. 
And in here, I'm gonna say border, bottom, one pixel, solid. And I'm gonna set the color code to E-A-E-A-E-B. -E -E and that should be a nice light gray color, which it is, you can see it there. And then text align right, so everything's pushed over. Then I'm gonna set the height of this to 70 pixels. And I'm also gonna set the line height to 70 pixels. And the line height is gonna help center everything vertically inside of this in just a minute. Now onto the menu, so dot menu. And we're just gonna apply a margin onto this. And I'm gonna say zero, and then 30, and then zero and zero. So that's top, right, bottom, left. So we're applying 30 pixels to the right. And now we can target our links inside of there. So dot menu, space A. And we're gonna take off the text decoration first off. Put that at none, so the underline is gone. I'm gonna set the color to gray. The margin to zero on the top and bottom and 10 pixels on the left and the right, so we have some good spacing. And then we're gonna apply a line height of 70 pixels so that when both of these are hidden, it will be centered up inside of there. After that, let's go ahead and target the span tag and adjust the color on that one to 5, 4, D, 1, 7, A. So now we have a green color on the last link there. All right, so our label and our checkbox are gonna be hidden, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply a style to the uh, label so that when it is visible, it's already styled and it looks good. So we're gonna say label and I'm gonna add a margin of zero, 40 pixels, zero and zero. That's just gonna make sure we have some space off of the side of the browser when it's visible later on. And then I'm also going to set the font size to 26 pixels so it's a bit larger and the line height needs to be 70 pixels so that's centered and then now we can just say display of none so the next thing we need to do is toggle needs to be hidden so toggle display of none so there we go so that's our desktop view now finished as you can see we have our links nice and styled inside of our .nav now we're going to apply a media rule to our CSS so that when this rule is met, the CSS will change. So I'm going to say at media only screen and inside of here, I'm going to say max dash width and set this to 500 pixels. So I'm going to open and close that. So everything inside of here will be applied to our HTML when the browser is 500 pixels or less. And so inside of here, I'm gonna say label, and we're gonna set this to display of block. So now you'll see that when I drag the browser over to 500 pixels or less, it automatically changes and updates that to display of block. So now we're gonna say cursor. I'm gonna put this as a pointer. So now when we highlight over top of this, it changes my cursor to a pointer so we know it's a link. Below that, we need to adjust the menu now. I'm gonna set the text alignment to centered. I'm gonna set the width to 100%. Here in a minute, we're gonna display this as none, but for now, I'm gonna leave it blank so that we can see the styles that I'm applying. So next, we need to say dot menu A to target our links. And here, I'm gonna say display of block. I'm going to apply a border to the bottom, and it's going to be the same border that we used up here. So I'm just going to copy that and paste it. So now you'll see each thing has a border to the bottom. Set the margin to zero. Now we can go back to the dot menu and say display of none. Now for our toggle. I'm going to say toggle checked. So when the toggle is checked, we want to do something. So I'm going to say plus dot menu. And we're going to do that to the menu. And I'm going to say display of block. All right. So now if I select this, you will see that it opens and collapses, which is exactly what we're looking for. Also, there is a pointer problem. So I applied a style of display and a pointer right here. 
and you'll see that the box is all the way over here. To fix that, let's go up to the label. And I'm going to say width, let's do 26 pixels. And then I'm going to float this to the right so that it's back over there. And then we just need to clear that on our menu A. So uh, clear uh, right. Okay. So everything should be good to go. So you'll see our pointer doesn't activate over there, only when we're hovering over this. And then everything looks good. Now we can expand this, and it goes back to our desktop view. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's tutorial. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you have any other tutorial suggestions for me, make sure you leave them down in the comments below. As always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. On the left is my previous video, just in case you missed it. On the right is YouTube's recommendation just for you. And the top center icon is my channel icon. Click that to subscribe for more content just like this. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.